BBC Radio Cornwall. Make a difference. Now, look, we love hearing how organisations and individuals make a difference to so many lives of so many people in Cornwall. You've heard of a Wet Wheels Foundation, have you? Wet Wheels um, helps people with any disability get out on the beach, on the sand, in the water, in Cornwall. And it may be late November, but the foundation is still taking people out uh, with plans to do so till the end of the year. Uh, Let's find out a little bit more. Paul Kimberley is one of the directors of Wet Wheels. Hi, Paul. Hello. Good afternoon. Good late morning to you. Well, no, it is nearly. We're nearly lunchtime. I'm blue and hungry as well. I can tell you that. Tell me, so Wet Wheels, you continue. It might surprise a few people. You will continue your schemes into the autumn and winter. How are you able to do that? Well, Wet Wheels Southwest um, is is our uh, COC name, and we've got um, a powered catamaran with two 325 horsepower engines on the back. Uh, We're based down at the Falmouth Haven Marina in Falmouth. Um, And because uh, we are on a floating uh, high tide, low tide pontoon uh, for easy disabled access, uh, we can run 365 days of the year, excluding the day she comes out for a service or a clean. So um, all year round. That's great. And what special activities are you going to be doing over Christmas? Have you got anything planned? Oh, good gracious. We've got continuing. The, we've, we've had a fantastic sort of just over first year based down here. There are actually six boats based around the country uh, under the Wet Wheels Foundation. Um, and we, as Wet Wheels Southwest, um, have had a, an amazing first year of operation down here. Um, we go out to see, we've got uh, very often, even today, I've just seen footage um, privately through the other directors. There's dolphins out there in the flat, calm sea, playing. Um, so we see dolphins, seals, tuna, seabirds of all kind. Um, we've got a couple of lobster pots. Um, so you might, uh, if, if someone comes out on a trip with us, uh, they might see spider crabs, or as they now call it, Cornish king crabs, lobsters, uh, the brown crabs as usual. We do fishing trips of all types, from novice through to the to the professional. Uh, we've had visiting families uh, with disabled family members. Um, we've even had a hen party came out with a disabled person and their friends. We took them to the Pandora um, and uh, and back. Uh, we've got a shanty man Pat that sometimes is he's a volunteer crew. Um, and if you ask him nicely, uh, if Pat's on board, he'll sing you a Cornish shanty. Um, lots of local groups have used this, like Falcare, CAP, uh, the Cornwall Hot Children's Hospice, Little Harbour. Um, and we're supporting people with physical and hidden disabilities. So you know, if there's anybody out there, a company that wants to help improve you know, their staff mental health or, uh, or any private people, families that, that need a bit of a pickup in the winter or throughout into next spring and summer, then get in touch with us and uh, we can take them out and give them an adventure or something to bring a smile to their face and some happy memories. Now, Paul, you just launched this YouTube channel, which kind of documents some of the adventures the the charity goes on. Um, What's been the response to that? Well, um, we've just literally started it in the last week, where we had so many bits of footage... Um, that we we had on our on our uh, Facebook site because we've got a, a Wet Wheel Southwest Facebook, uh, we've got Wet Wheel Southwest website, and uh, lots of the the videos end up going further down in a, in the streams on on these social media platforms etc. So I thought, well, let's set up a YouTube channel and put everything we we publish put them up on there so people can have a a browse around look at the wildlife ones look at the adventures we do there's even a 360 degree virtual reality experience uh video that you can put a a a phone into a little cardboard headset and and experience what it's like to to have a trip on wet wheels so you know you can you can be in uh, sort of a wheelchair bound person come down the pontoon, straight onto the boat um, and, and experience what it's like to actually have a trip out with us. Admittedly, this one is done by another boat in another area, but it's exactly the same experience because all the boats are, are mirrored of each other. And this has been your life, Paul. You've, you've always loved the sea. You've been involved in, you know, the Coast Guard, lifeboat. So, you know, since your teenage years, you've volunteered for, for so many nautical things. And I, I, this must be an absolute pleasure for you to run an organisation that helps people with any disability experience the beauty of the Cornish coast. Well, I, you're quite right. I've, I've been on the sea since I was a, a young teenager, um, mainly for social reasons and obviously for you know, some of the rescue services. Um, but now maturing in years, it's time for me to um, 
uh, at least sort of put my boots down on the floor and let someone else take over those. Um, but I still have uh, a passion for the sea and being able to get take people out and give people the pleasure that I've had. The sea, the, the, the sea is my happy place. Um, as it is for many people who live in Cornwall. And if we can get people out in a really easily accessible boat that anybody of any ability can come on board um, and, and experience you know, some of the joy that, that I've certainly had over the years, then, um, then it's great for me and it puts a smile on my face at the end of every trip that we've been out um, because it's, it's lovely to see other people getting a, a few moments or a few hours of the enjoyment that I've had lifelong so far. Thanks for all you do, Paul Kimberley from the Wet Wheels Foundation. Uh, do give them a search ending to, to see their official website and social media, including their YouTube channel, which they from now will be updating with uh, videos of the sort of things they get up to. Really amazing. Happening right here in Cornwall and the Southwest.